Well, hello there, guys. A lazy Sunday. Robin's been picked up, and um, we haven't filmed anything today because we've just been sitting and playing um, some games. Me and Robin. It was nice to play with Robin because he, him, and I did some games. Just him and I, like a land game, like only on our network, um, which is like kind of uh, fun and a good training. Robin is really good at it. He plays something called. Um, Oh, what's the name? Rush Team, I think it's called. And I also have a profile on there. Um, if you want to look for me, just search for I Silly. Um, I don't know if you can add friends or something on it, but it's an online game and it's free. And it is like kind of like Counter-Strike. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> but um, this morning when Robin and I went to bed, because we actually stayed up very, very late, and um, I took Sally out in the garden for a wee, and I opened the door and I just saw this police car come rushing by with the f flash uh, the lights on. Uh, no siren, but at least the flash was on, and I was like, oh, I wonder, maybe they're going after a drunk driver or whatever. It actually shows that uh, they were going after a car, um, two or three police cars. They were chasing after the one car, where they thought it was a drunk driver. Um, he went through a parking lot and trashed into a couple of the police cars and smashed those in this little area where we are. And uh, after smashing those police cars, he then parked somewhere in town, or he was pushed in by accident by the police cars. And um, he almost ran over a policeman, and then another policeman <coughs> ran out in front of him, and he almost ran over him as well. And uh, the police said to him, come out of the car with your hands over your head. And you got to remember, this is Denmark. Uh, the police is really, 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 we call soft here. They don't really do anything like violent or anything like that but the guy just refused to come out which he shouldn't have done they put, they put a warning shot towards him on the car or whatever or the ground I don't know where they did that um, maybe in the air um, he didn't do anything to that, that he just sat in the car um, so they shot and they always shot just to maybe injure him but he actually died he didn't make it it was a young guy uh, mid 20s a Danish guy uh, but they did think that he had alcohol in his blood, but how can things go so escalate bad? Okay, also the car was a stolen car, it was stolen from the military. Uh, it's not like a tank or anything, like it's just a normal car, but it was owned by the military, so it has like a special license plate and stuff. Which is a very serious offence, but still, um, it's a car, it's a dead thing, and he lost his life. But then again, um, the guys should probably not have done that then. So, even though it's a terrible outcome, he put it on himself and he nearly, he could have injured much more than he did. I mean, he could have, he could have killed a, a policeman nearly running him over and uh, the car was starting to go forward towards the other policeman who stood in front of him with the gun. And if the guy had not done anything, maybe he would have been run over, so... Yeah, but the problem in Denmark is that the police are very, very, very soft. You see how in America they're like almost too extreme. They're like really some of them are actually abusing their power uh, while a lot of them do a good job. But here in Denmark, most of them are like not concerned about doing a serious job. I mean, what this guy did last night here, I think was fairly all right. If people are committing crimes, they should know there's a risk. And in Denmark here, the jails are or the prisons are... Unless you're like a super psycho killer, which we don't have much of in Denmark here. We don't have like many serial killers. That, uh, I haven't heard of anyone for a long time. Um, it's a very safe country. But but definitely, um, unless it's like something very extreme, the precautions are not that bad. I mean, basically when you get, I would say when you get to a prison here, you might have a room. Um, let's say, a little bit smaller than this. If you cut the wall down here, you get like this. You have room for a bed, a desk and a table. But very often you see the like, where the film inside the prison, they got like PlayStations, they got TVs, some of them even got mobile phones, and even in some cases uh, they get to go out in the weekends to be with their families. I mean, not like, what the heck? It's a prison. You've done something you shouldn't have done, so you got to take your punishment. Um, and that, does, that goes for everyone. Um, if I did something I wasn't allowed to, fine, throw me in the prison and I'll have to take my punishment as a man. I shouldn't have done nothing wrong. So yeah. But that's it guys, um, I don't really think I've got any more to say today, I'm really really um, just relaxing and um, it was nice hanging out with Robin 
and saying Happy Christmas to him and his dad. His sister was in the car. Um, yeah. And on Tuesday, we might be going on to Copenhagen. Uh, Paul needs to go in and pick something up. So, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right. I'm going to catch you guys uh, a little bit later or tomorrow. So take good care. And sorry about this one-take vlog. Well, at least I had a little bit of an interesting story to tell you about this uh, crazy shooting out here. But, um, yeah, it's like scary news. I'll uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take